Brutal, no, you get outside. Thank you. Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. I'm Lynn. If you want to see how I did this bus up shot slash burrata recipe, stay tuned. This is a list of ingredients that we would need in order to make our bus up shot. I'm starting with four cups of flour, some additional flour for dusting, some oil, I'm using some margarine, you can use butter as well, or oil, baking powder, four teaspoons of baking powder, about a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of sugar as well. We'll also be needing two cups of water. Okay, good. So to begin, we'll start with our four cups of flour. Salt. Baking powder. Sugar. We're going to mix this together. I'll be adding my water, warm water. I'm start. I have two cups of water here, but I won't be using all at once. Now, this dough is a very light dough. It's supposed to be a very light dough. So, when you need it, you're not gonna be pressing your hand into the flour and squeezing. It's not a a dough that you make like if you're making dumplings so you want to be very very light with your fingers it's more like you're playing with the flour so the hand movements you add your water and you just want to be swirling it just a bit remember that this dough has to be a very soft dough So this is my dough here. Here yeah, I'm using some oil. Rub it some oil. And cover with a damp towel. I'm gonna leave this here to rest for about half an hour. Okay, it's 40 minutes later, and I'm going back to my door. It was nice and soft. It's very soft, it doesn't stick to your hand as easily as it did before okay. now 
I'll be using some flour. I took a flour for dusting my hands. I'm going to foam dough into balls. Pinch, push, pinch, push. And set this aside. Set it aside. Okay, so for this next step, we already roll our balls here, the dough, and we'll be using the margarine. Just want to set this aside. First, I'm going to lightly dust my countertop. I'm taking one of the dough, I want to dust it lightly as well. I'm using a rolling pin, I'm going to spread the dough. I said this doesn't have to be a perfect round shape. Get it flat and thin enough. Doesn't have to be a perfect shape. It's thin enough. Once again, we're going in with some butter and we'll coat the entire top of it. We'll take a knife, slit up to the middle, go out to one of the end, and then we're going to fold. I am moving in an anti-clockwise position here. You can use clockwise, it doesn't matter. You're just going to keep turning this until you have completed the circle. Fold until the midi circle. And once again, we are pushing in the bottom of the cone. Turn over and we push the top in, stick the top in. And set aside. So I'm finished rolling them out. I'm just going to cover with a damp cloth and allow this to rest for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's now 20 minutes later and we're going to prepare to roll the dough out. You want to put your platen or your tower to heat. So let's start. Put a light bit dust again. Light bit dust and we're going to be rolling. Try and stretch it with your hands first.
please you do spread it on the towel Take very long to cook. There you have it, we have completed our parata recipe. Let me know what you think about this recipe. I hope you do get a chance to try it.